Hey guys, welcome back to Maya's Bug. On this episode, we are going to be picking up right where we left off on the roll cage build. Uh, last episode, we finished up these floor tubes. We got these installed. But now we are going to be putting in the A-pillar that runs up. We're going to put a bend here, and we're going to run all the way down. And we're going to try to uh, intersect where a tube's going to come through here, uh, all with a single piece of tubing. So this is going to run up, over, all the way down with a single piece of tubing on either side. And that should get us going. And then we'll be able to put in our B pillar up here. I'm gonna get real comfy in here. This is gonna be my office for the foreseeable future. Uh, we got a lot of work to do in here. So let's get this thing done. Welcome back to our roll cage diagram. In the last episode, we installed the two lower uh, tubes, the purple ones here on the bottom. Uh, on this episode, we're going to be installing these two green tubes. They're going to run up the A pillar over the top of the bug and then back down to the back side and tie into our engine cage. First things first, I have a brand spanking new carbon fiber dash that I got from uh, Efrain down in Ensenada, Mexico. Uh, he's with EFF Race Prep, so I'm going to be taking out this steel dash and getting it cleared for the roll cage, so that way I can install my carbon fiber one later on. Next, I started with some eyeball engineering, just started putting a scrap piece of tubing in place, and kind of just coming up with a game plan of how the tubing was going to land uh, in my head. Next, I needed to take some measurements and decide where my first and second bend were gonna, they were gonna start and stop. Uh, this is a little bit of a thinking game and I'm not really sure how much bend I need to do. So I decided to make a template. I took a piece of tube and I lined it up with my reference on my tubing bender and I marked it every one inch. And that way I could calculate how much tubing is required to make a 90 degree bend. I then made my first bend in my tubing, uh, removed it, and traced it onto a piece of poster board. I put the poster board inside the vehicle and then did my best attempt at measuring to the next bend uh, using my new template. Okay, these first bends came out really good. Uh, the only problem is this section of the tube here uh, is too long. Um, and that's just my inexperience, not really knowing what I'm doing and how I marked the bends. Um, it actually ended up making this a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, so I am gonna cut right here and add in a sleeve and drill some holes for some rosette welds. Um, and then I will land that uh, interface that section where I'm cutting it right on where another tube attaches. Um, so that should be plenty strong enough and I'll also add some reinforcing tubes. Um, hopefully that works and I'll be able to save this tube but otherwise um, I'll have to start over. But I think this is going to work. All right, I just wanted to show you guys how I am splicing this tubing. Uh, since I did have to take a couple inches out of this section here, um, I had to cut it. And the way I'm going to be splicing this back together is I beveled this, these tubes back just a hair. Um, I will probably do a little bit more. Um, I got a four inch sleeve that'll go inside of this tube, inside of that tube. I've drilled holes here for rosette welds to connect uh, the sleeve to the outer tubing. And then I'll leave a, a small gap here so that way I can get a weld all the way around here. It'll connect these two pieces of tubing together as well as the sleeve inside. 
and I have a mark there to make sure it's centered nicely. Uh, another thing is after that's all assembled, um, I purposely chose this spot on the tube because there's another intersecting piece of tube that's gonna come in and splice right over the top of that. All right guys, so I'm happy with the placement of the tube and how it fits inside the vehicle. Um, one thing I don't know is the degree of bends for each one of these. I started with something close and then I kept bending it a little bit more, a little bit more until I liked it. Uh, the problem with that is now I don't really know how to duplicate it. So what I'm doing is I have this little clamping table, which I love, I use this thing all the time. Um, I set up this bar vertical, so it's at zero. Um, you could set this here. It doesn't have to be perfectly zero. So right now it's at three degrees. I'm gonna zero it. Now it's at zero. And now I'll come down here, set it on here, and I'll be able to get my angle. So 44 and a quarter. And I could do that for all the different bends. And there you have it. We have two matching tubes ready to be installed in the car. One thing I should have mentioned earlier is I'm designing this roll cage to be able to remove the body. So once I get all the tubing installed and I'm happy with the fitment, I'll remove the body, get it all painted, finish welding all the internal structure. Now I'm getting things lined up, squared up, leveled off, and uh, ready to tap. All right, so I stopped the assembly because uh, there's this tube right here I'm not really a big fan of. These two lower tubes, they angle in as they go forward. So this front tube is perfectly straight up and down with a level. This car is leveled. Uh, it's perfectly level. I come over here and this one's angled in. And that's landing here and on the top tube there. Uh, so there's no way to make that a straight tube and be straight vertical. So uh, I'm gonna take this bar out and I'm gonna add a kick to it. I might have to recut it cause then it'll be too short, but I'm gonna add a small kick. Uh, so the bottom part is vertical and then it'll kick in.
All right, guys, I think we got a pretty good start to our roll cage. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much. And I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed so far. Uh, we've made it past a 1,000 subscribers, so that's great. Uh, if you guys want to pick up some cool hoodies or some T-shirts, stickers, cups, whatever, visit mayasbugstore.com. Uh, all the profits uh, help me buy something for this bug because uh, I need it. This is not a cheap build. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Make sure to get out in the garage and build something.